Anyone who has ever looked at South America on a map of the world has certainly, certainly wondered about Chile's very unusual shape. At its maximum, with the country measures only 117 kilometers, but over 4,200 kilometers in length. If, over Europe, it would stretch from the North Cape to Libya. It stretches over a total of 38 degrees of latitude, which is why six of the world's nine ecozones are represented there. In addition to ice-cold subpolar zones, it also has deserts where it has not rained for 400 years. Chile is also a pretty extraordinary country in other respects. So today we take a look the exciting history of this country and find out why Chile is so unique. The question of why Chile has such a strange shape. Have fun. Around 10,000 years ago, humans first invaded the area that is now Chile. Chile. They lived mainly in the north, where they mainly practiced agriculture. Spread as far south as Patagonia, where the immigrants lived mainly from fishing. Lived mainly from fishing. These groups of immigrants lived relatively peacefully side by side for many millennia. Until the 15th century, when everything changed within a very short time. Changed. At this time, the Incas invaded the north of what is now Chile. They were able to spread further and further and penetrated far into the south. The original population was largely displaced in the process. Only. Only in the far south were the Mapuche tribes able to hold out and prevent the Inca from further advances. However, the rule of the Incas was short-lived. Because at the beginning of the 16th century, the colonial power Spain invaded South America and was able to completely defeat the Incas within and wipe them out within a few years. The conqueror Pedro de Valdivia finally crossed the Atacama Desert in 1540 and founded the present-day capital Santiago. Chile then became part of the Viceroyalty of Peru and the mining of raw materials, especially gold and silver, began making the silver, which made the Spaniards incredibly rich. However, the Mapuche in the far south of the country remained steadfast and and repeatedly won victories against the seemingly overpowering colonial power. They knew the territory very well and the Spaniards found it very difficult in this, in this harsh and cold area. Even though the Spanish often depicted their colonial empire in, maps of the time often extended as far south as Patagonia, they were never able to, never really conquered the territory. As a result, the Mapuche remained the only people in Latin America to assert themselves against the European colonial powers. They survived the entire colonial period and still exist today as an ethnic group in Chile. In the course of time, there were repeated independence movements in Chile that demanded independence from Spain. However, this only became a reality at the beginning of the 19th century. Century. Spain's power in Europe had long since passed its zenith and, in 1808 Napoleon finally occupied the whole of Spain. Many provinces of the Spanish colonial empire took advantage of this opportunity and established their own governments which stood up for independence. This was also the case in Chile. However, a few years later, the Spanish king returned to the throne and wanted to, wanted to reconquer all the renegade provinces by force. The Chileans had organized themselves well in the meantime and had even formed their own army of freedom fighters. There were several battles in which the Chileans were able to prevail. And even though the Spanish king sent more and more soldiers, he was, was also defeated in the decisive battle near the capital in Chile became a formally independent state in 1818. But at that time, Chile did not yet have the extraordinary dimensions that it has today. It has today. It only comprised the middle third of today's landmass. It was only towards the end of the 19th century that it was able to gain the land area. Area. The so-called Salt Petri War broke out in the north. At the time, Bolivia introduced a Salt Petri tax for Chilean companies, thereby, thereby violating existing treaties. Chile then invaded Bolivia, which in turn, was in turn allied with Peru. However, Chile was able to defeat both opponents and annex large areas of both states in the subsequent peace treaty. Bolivia was thus completely cut off from the sea. Around the same time, expansion to the south also began, where the Mapuche, who had defied both the Incas and the Spanish, were defeated. Were defeated. Argentina and Chile then divided the southern tip of South America between them, among themselves. So Chile grew incredibly in length, but never in width. The reason, for this is a geographical barrier, the Andes. This mountain range, which, the whole country, is an insurmountable obstacle in most places. In most places. On the one hand, this prevented Chile from expanding eastwards, but on the other hand. The other hand, it has always represented a perfect natural defensive wall, preventing Chilean territory very difficult.